Okay, so this is problem number five from chapter seven on natural responses um, of RL and RC circuits. Well, we have a 12 volt source here in series with a 10 ohms, 120 ohms, um, 40, and a switch that's open um, at time zero. We have 20 ohms here, 100 millihenry, and we are looking for a whole bunch of stuff. So our library's gonna close soon, so I'm not gonna go through and list all that because I didn't even have enough room to write down everything that we're looking for. But let's go through them one by one. We're looking for this current through the switch, the current through the switch before the switch opens. So let's talk a little bit about this circuit. It's open and then at time zero it closes. So we're going to have current going through here at time zero, and we're looking for um, the inductor, mostly the inductor current, the switch current, and the voltage, the inductor voltage. So those are the three key things that we're looking for. So at time zero, or before the switching happens, let's look at the circuit. The circuit looks like this. So volts, 10, 120. 40, and there is no switch here, or there is no connection here because it's open, 20, inductors are short, times zero. So that is what our circuit looks like before the switch is closed. So what is the current through that? Well, it has to be zero because there's nothing for it to go through. Zero amps. So the switch current is zero. Inductor current, though, is going to be this current that's going through here. That's going to be IL. And we can do that using current division because this is a, um, just a bunch of resistors. So this is going to be 10 ohms in series with, this is two parallel connected branches. So that's going to be 120 in parallel with 60. And... That tells me that that is 50, worth 50 ohms. So, then the current that's going through this whole thing, this current, the total current, is going to be 12 over 50. And that is 240 milliamps. So I have 240 milliamps going in here, and it's going to break up, a piece of it is going to break up there. And we'll use current dividers to um, do that. This is, um, the the equivalent resistance of 120 in parallel with 60 is 40. So, so um, current divider says that my current that's going through the branch I'm interested in, which is that the 60, so it's going, we're going to take total the equivalent resistance of this, these two branches, and that's going to be 50, and divided by the, the branch that we're interested in, which is the 60. And that's going to be times times the uh, uh, 240. And when you do that, you should come up with 160 milliamps. So this is 160 milliamps current through the inductor before the switch happens. So now the switch happens, and let's take a look at what the circuit looks like when it when it does happen. So, after the switching happens, we have 12 volts here, we have 10, 120, 40, and now we have a closed switch, and 20, and now we have the inductor here, 100 millimeters. Okay. So we want to know what is the current through here. This switch shorts out the 20 ohm resistor and the 100 milli Henry inductor. So there's some current going through here, but what is that? Well, since it shorts out that branch, the equivalent resistance seen by the source is different now. So we have to calculate that. So the new equivalent resistance is going to be 10 plus 120 in parallel with 40. And we're in chapter seven, so I have faith that you can do that. So that is going to be the new current V, or 
I is going, the new I is going to be this new R is 40. So the new I is going to be 12 volts over 40. And that is equal to 300 milliamps. So now we have 300 milliamps going in. Okay, we're interested in this one right here. So what is that current? Again, we're going to use the current, the current divider um, circuit. And that's going to be this branch. The equivalent resistance, 120 in parallel, gives me 30. I'm interested in the 40. So the, so the current that's going through there is going to be 300 milliamps times um, 30 over 40. And that is 225 milliamps. Now, you would think, OK, well, this is a short. so. This 225 is going in here, and therefore, since it's a short circuit, you must have 225 going through there. And that's not correct, because there's a property of the inductor is that it cannot change current instantaneously. Therefore, 160 still has to be going through here. Therefore, of that 225, there is 225 less 60 going through there, and that gives me 65. So that is the trick to that one, is to, to remember that as a property of an inductor, it cannot change current instantaneously. So over here, we have 65 milliamps. And is that correct? Yes. All right. And Again, and part D, we're looking for the inductor current right after switching happens. And of course, I just said it, it can't change instantaneously. Therefore, it still has to have 160 milliamps. What is the current through the resistor at time infinity? Or through the switch, excuse me. So, so at time infinity, this 225 for sure will start to build up and then at time infinity, that's when it's full 225 will be going through the short, uh, the switch. So that is 225. Current through the inductor at infinity time? Well, when the switch closes, the inductor is disconnected from the, it's short, it's, it's short, the, um, the, ah, oh, I'm having such a difficult time speaking today. The switch shorts the out the power source, so there's nothing charging, and so whatever energy was stored in the inductor is just going to dissipate and be used up, and so that current is, at time infinity will be zero amps. Um, in part G, we are looking for the general equation of the um, inductor, and so there is a formula in that section that says that. The natural response of an inductor is um, the initial current. So it's the initial current times E raised to the um, L over R, which is 1 over tau. So E minus R over L times T. So that's going to be 160 milliamps. E raised to the R is 20. L is 100, E minus 3, and T. And when you do that, you'll get a general equation of, what is it? Okay, so the general equation for the inductor current is 160, E to the minus 200, T. Voltage across the inductor uh, yeah, vol voltage across the inductor before time zero is zero because it's a short circuit and short circuits have no voltage drop. Zero. Now, when the switching happens though, it has a voltage, right? And to figure out what, so let's just look at this part of the circuit. We got a closed switch, we got 20, and we got, we got something that has 120, um, 60, 160 milliamps going through it. How much voltage is that? I don't know. So I'm going to use KCL to find out, or KVL. 
We're going to use KBL to find out. So this voltage drop is 160 milliamps, right? 160 milliamps times 20, V is equal to IR, plus some voltage drop over the inductor, VL. KBL says that must equal to zero. Therefore, VL must equal that, which is negative 3.2 volts. So that is that one. Negative 3.2 volts. Okay, so the voltage across the inductor at time infinity, we're going to do the same thing. This one is exactly the same. So VL at 0 plus is going to be the initial voltage across the inductor. So VI, VI uh, so the initial voltage we said was negative 3.2. So the voltage general equation for that, this is negative 3.2 e to the minus 200 T volts. That's that one. Negative 3.2 e to the minus 200 T. And, holy moly, they were asking for a lot of stuff on this one. So now we're looking for the general equation. Oh, did I just do that one? J. Oops, I missed that. Sorry, that was the general equation one. Uh, so this is the general equation one. Um, the real J, so the one before that, which I accidentally skipped, part J, the real part J, is the voltage drop across the inductor at time infinity. Well, since it has no current, right, the current is eventually going to get used up, the energy is going to be dissipated, um, the voltage drop will be zero. So that's that one. And then the last thing that they're asking for is the current through the switch. Well, remember when the switch is closed like this, there was 225 going through there? Well, the general equation for the current through the inductor or the, um, the current through the switch is going to be its full value, 225, minus the um, inductor current, which it has to give up at the very beginning of the switching. So that, and that general equation is um, 160 E to the minus 200 T. All right, that is that. So I'm sorry I couldn't speak today. So um, anyways, be sure to um, share the video if you want to and um, like the Facebook page. So thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.